Greetings, my lovely couriers. Today I'll be showing you how I make a patch for Bale's physically based wood crates to work with the Maki Zero's animated containers. I'm showing you a Maki Zero's Military Crate 02, which I have already gotten working with Bale's Military Crate 02, as you can see here. So open up 3ds Max, file import. You're going to import Bale's NIF. Here are my import settings. Pause if you need to. I'm going to apply Bale's texture by dragging it onto the mesh. Now I'm going to clone Bale's NIF. Now I'm going to select everything except for the lid and delete it. Now that I have a mesh that is just the lid, I'm going to do the same thing for the container. We'll have two branches, one that is the lid and one that is the container. Now I'm going to file export, export the NIF. Here are my export settings. Again, you can pause. You can also read more about what each setting does in the import and export window of 3ds Max on the NIF wiki, which I have linked in the description below. With that exported, I'm going to open it up in NIF scope. As you can see, the lid and the bottom part are separate. This is what we want. I will be setting the shader flags. For this New Vegas mesh, all I want is specular, remappable textures, and Z buffer test. Doing the same thing for the other branch. Open up Maki Zero's military crate. Here is the animation of the lid lifting up and lowering. Clicking on the container, we notice that it is a nigh tri strip under a nigh node. So I go back to Bale's NIF, I select the container, I copy the branch, I go back to Maki Zero's NIF. I paste the branch inside of the Nine node. So I remove a Maki Zero's branch. The animation is still working. This lid is a nitri strip as well. Go back to Bale's NIF. I click on the lid. I copy this branch. Go back to a Maki Zero's mesh. Paste the branch in the Nine node and it pastes in. Click on it, transform, edit, click on the lid of a Maki Zero's mesh, transform, edit. We're going to copy the translation for Z and X to the new branch, then click accept. Now the new lid is in the same position as the old lid. Check the animation, they're both lifting up. It's working delete the original so now all we have is our new mesh there's some some clipping some issues with the inside i'll show you how to fix that click the lid right click node attach property nigh stencil property so as you can see that's been fixed we no longer see through the top once again, I'm updating tangent space and the animation works great. Now this you don't have to do, but I believe that it makes the mesh look a little nicer. So I go to mesh, face normals for both the lid and the container, and then batch update tangent space. I'm going to save as, I navigate to Bale's directory, and I overwrite his NIF, and you're done. For the sake of this tutorial, I am going to open up the GEC, load the Fallout and VESM. I can view the animation in the GEC. Now that I know where I can find it, Prim Nash Residence, I'll launch my game. COC there. And we open it, the animation works. And just to be clear, it shows me that these boxes are Military Crate 01, which is the one that we replaced. So it's working. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. I hope it was helpful, and maybe I'll see you out there in the Mojave.